In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can use Affinity Designer to create this interlocking letter logo design, where you take two different letters of your choosing and make them look like they're overlapping and underlapping each other. Before we get started, though, if you want to learn more about how Affinity Designer works, be sure to check out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 80 videos where we go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work, kind of like how I'll do in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. That being said, let's get started. So I'm going to open up a new document, and I'm going to grab my text tool, which is over here, and I'm going to click and drag on the canvas to create a large text item. And I'm going to use the letters D and E just for this demonstration. You can use whichever two letters you want. You may have some difficulties making them interlock with each other based on the letters that you choose, but what I'm going to show you in this tutorial can be applied to any letter, really. So the font we're going to use for this is called Winners. I'll have a link to it in the description of the video. It's a free font. You can go and download and install it. I know it looks like it's on a, on a page where you have to add it to a cart and buy it, but the price is listed at zero dollars. So you can go through the checkout process and quote unquote purchase it without having to enter any payment info. So go ahead and download and install that font and then highlight your letters and then come up here to the text drop down and type in W-I-N. And there we go. There is the font winner. And we're going to use this font because of the way it is structured. It works really well for this sort of thing. So let me grab my selection tool. And now I'm going to convert this to curves. So I'm going to come up here to layer and I'm going to choose convert to curves. And then I'm going to ungroup it by going to layer and selecting ungroup. Now I'm going to grab my selection tool. And just for now, I'm going to take the opacity drop down and drop this in half just so we can see through these letters as we're working with them. It's going to make things a lot easier. Then I'll click off of that to deselect it. And what we want to do now is we want to make these letters interlock with each other. So in order to make this letter D go through the letter E, I'm going to have to collapse its height. Now you don't want to scale it down using the scaling tools because then you distort the letter as you can see there and it doesn't look consistent with the rest of the design. So let me undo that. What we're going to do instead is we're going to grab the nodes tool and I'm going to click and drag over these nodes over here and I'm just going to take them and drag them down and I'm going to hold my shift key to lock it onto the vertical axis like that just so we can collapse the height of this letter and then I'm going to take these nodes over here and then I'm going to bring these to the right and again I'm going to hold shift hold shift on your keyboard to bring them over to the right like that and I'm going to grab my selection tool and place this over the center of the letter E and position it how I want it. Now I'm going to go back into my nodes tool and edit this a little bit because it's still a little too high. I'm going to collapse that height a little more and that looks a lot better. And then I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to grab my alignment tool and I just want to make sure I have these centered vertically and horizontally like that and then we can click off of it. So if you notice right here, we have a problem where the letter E, these little tails are sticking out too much. So I'm going to bring those down a little bit. I'm going to grab my nodes tool and I'm going to select these nodes and then I'll hold shift and select these nodes. And then I want to enable my transformation handles, which is located up here, this little icon where it says transform mode. Click on that to enable it. And then I'm going to take this middle node and bring this up and I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold the alt key. I'm sorry, the command key if you're on Mac. And if you're on Windows, I believe it's the control key. You can hold that key and you can scale them out like that just to get them away from that letter D. And that right there is what we're looking for. And now once you've done that, you can disable this transform mode, go back into the selection tool. So now we have the letters positioned how we want them. What we're going to do now is create offsets of each of these letters so that we can create those negative spaces between them to make them look like they're overlapping and underlapping each other as I've done here. So to do that, I'm going to select both letters and I'm going to come over here to the layers menu. I'm going to right click it and go to duplicate. And I'm going to make these duplicate copies another, co another color just so I could differentiate them. I'll make them red. And then I'm going to grab my contour tool, which is located over here. And I want to enable this setting where it says contour type. I want to choose the miter joins option so that we get sharp corners. Make sure I have that applied. And then I could just take this handle up here and pull this out. And you can see we're creating an offset of those letters. And the size of this offset is going to represent the size of the spacing in those gaps. So you're going to want to size it appropriately. I think right about there looks pretty good. And once that's done, let's grab the selection tool, select everything. And now we're going to go into the shape builder, which is located over here. We're going to choose the minus action and we're going to start deleting out areas of the letter that shouldn't be there. So these 
extra, these areas of extra padding, I'm just gonna click on them to get rid of them. And the areas I wanna leave behind are these areas right here where the letters inter intersect with each other. So let me delete out these areas. Let me draw through there to get rid of that. And you can see we have these extra areas in here. So in order to make it look like the D is going over the letter E right here, I'm gonna delete out these two areas right here. And then I'll delete out these two areas right there. And now it looks like the D is overlapping the E. So now we want the E to overlap the D. So I'm gonna delete out these areas over here. And now you can see what's happening. The design is starting to come together. So now that that's done, I'm gonna com combine everything together. I'm gonna to come over here to the addition option and I'm just gonna draw a line going through these areas to combine them all together like that. And then I'll click on this area, click on this area, click on that area, and then it should all look the same. And now you can go back into your selection tool. You can take your opacity, bring it back up to 100%. And now you can change the color of this to whatever you want. You can make this a different color or you can just make it black or a dark shade of gray like I had it in my mock-up. And if you notice over here in the layers menu, everything's kind of uh, separated. If you wanna merge this all together so that it's a single unit, just come up here to your Boolean operations and choose the add option and click on that. And now you can see over here in the layer preview, it is a single object now. So now you have a simple interlocking letter logo that you can export as a PNG or use however else you want. And I think that should do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.